We've got another great story for you today, readers, and some great follow-up activities. Are you ready? So today's story is called, Is This a House for Hermit Crab? And it was written by Megan McDonald. I really like this story because it has a great problem and solution comprehension skill to practice, along with some great sight words and fluency practice. And so readers, you get to really put those words together well to improve your speed at reading. As always, at the end of the story, there are three great questions to answer, and that helps you remember details in the story, and it helps deepen the understanding. There's a link in our show notes that'll take you to our website to get those follow-up activities, parents. Is this a house for hermit crab? Hermit Crab was forever growing too big for the house on his back. It was time to find a new house. He crawled up out of the water looking for something to hide in, where he would be safe from the prickle pine fish. He stepped along the shore by the sea in the sand. Scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch until he came to a rock. Is this a house for Hermit Crab? Turning himself around, Hermit Crab backed his hind legs beneath the rock. The rock would not budge. It was too heavy. So he stepped along the shore by the sea in the sand. Scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch. until he came to a rusty old tin can. Is this a house for Hermit Crab? When he tried to walk with the can on his back, it bumped and clunked, it was too noisy. So he stepped along the shore by the sea in the sand. Scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch. Until he came to a piece of driftwood. Is this a house for Hermit Crab? Hermit Crab crawled deep inside the rounded hollow at one end. It was too dark. So he stepped along the shore by the sea in the sand. Scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch. Until he came to a small plastic pail. Is this a house for Hermit Crab? Climbing up toward the rim, oops, he fell right in. He clawed and he clawed until he climbed back out. It was too deep. So he stepped along the shore by the sea in the sand. Scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch. Until he came to a nice round hole in the sand. Is this a house for Hermit Crab? He poked his head down into the opening. A huge pair of eyes blinked back at him. Hermit Crab shivered as he scurried away from the big fiddler crab peering out of its burrow. It was too crowded. So he stepped along the shore by the sea in the sand. Scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch. Until he came to a fishing net. Is this a house for Hermit Crab? Poking his claws into the heap, he got tangled and caught. Hermit Crab wriggled and wriggled until he found his way out of the net. It had too many holes. So he stepped along the shore, by the sea, in the sand. Scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch. All of a sudden, a gigantic wave tossed and tumbled pebbles and sand over Hermit Crab's head. He swirled and whirled with the tide and was washed back out to sea. Sleeker than a shark, the prickle pine fish darted out from its hiding place in the tall seaweed. 
every spine on its back stood straight as a steeple. Mouth wide open, it headed right for Hermit Crab. Hermit Crab raced across the ocean floor. Scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch. Scurrying behind the first creature he saw, it was a sea snail and he hoped it would hide him, but the shell was empty. The shell was empty. Hermit Crab scrambled inside as quick as a flash and clamped his claw over the opening in the shell. The prickle pine fish circled the snail shell three times, but he could not catch sight of the crab he had been chasing. He glided off in search of something else to eat. When all seemed still and quiet, Hermit Crab snuggled comfortably down into his new shell. It was not too heavy, not too noisy, not too dark, and not too deep. It was not too crowded and did not have too many holes. At last, Hermit Crab had found a new home and it fit just right. How'd you like that story? Well, it's time to pause the video and answer three great questions. It was great to have you around for another story readers. Get ready for next Monday. Until then, read, succeed, then lead.